A large international study has found that an MRI scan can reduce the number of invasive prostate biopsies by up to 28 percent. Well, to find out more about this study, let's talk to the first author, Dr. Viru Kazivisvanathan from University College London, UCLH and West Hearts NHS Trust. Hello to you. Hi there. So tell me about this study. What did you look at? So we wanted to evaluate an MRI pathway involving targeted biopsy against a standard of care pathway, 10 to 12 core truss biopsy for the diagnosis of prostate cancer. And it's quite intuitive, is it, that if you do an MRI scan first, then you really know where you're trying to take your samples from? Um, precisely. So uh, in most cancers, in solid organ cancers, when you want to find out whether there's an abnormal area, you have some form of an imaging test where you can see an abnormality and take a sample. And this is one of the reasons behind the drive behind an MRI influence pathway in the diagnosis of prostate cancer. So what has this led you to believe that should change in practice? So um, what we found was, was that the MRI and targeted biopsy pathway detected more clinically significant cancer and less clinically insignificant cancer than the standard of care pathway. So this shows us that it's better able to identify men at risk of cancer that need treatment and better able to avoid the diagnosis of men who wouldn't benefit from treatment. So this would highlight that we could change the standard of care for the diagnosis of biopsy-naive men with suspected prostate cancer. You haven't specifically looked at cost, but obviously MRI scans are quite expensive, but would it save money in the long run? Yeah, so potentially costs can be saved from a proportion of men avoiding biopsy altogether. From the earlier diagnosis of harmful cancers that are cheaper to treat if you treat them at the appropriate time and from avoiding the diagnosis of clinically insignificant cancer which can be a burdensome disease to monitor and treat. And how many men are we talking about? How common is it to have a prostate biopsy? So approximately one million men in Europe every year have a prostate biopsy so this does have quite significant implications. And um, what was the most difficult thing about the study that you found? So. Um, in most surgical trials, when you randomise patients to one arm or another, it's traditionally been difficult for surgeons and patients to accept the randomisation and to recruit to a study. And we were worried that it might not recruit at the start of the study, but it's really a testament to the investigators that we recruited well ahead of schedule. So that was our main concern, that we wouldn't be able to recruit and randomise patients to an arm without MRI. Tell me what you're going to do from now on. You're hoping that the guidelines will change to fall in line with what you found? Absolutely. So I, I think this is not something that will happen overnight. Um, it's important for the quality of the MRI and the ability of urologists and radiologists to interpret that MRI has to improve. So we need to train clinicians to do that. Um, in addition, we need to increase the capacity for multiparametric MRI in different healthcare settings, which will require national level um, conduct to change and investment. Do you think that'll be a difficult conversation saying initially you do need to invest in more MRI scanners and more training for people who can operate them but overall it will be it will be cheaper. Do you think that'll be a difficult conversation? So I think like most disruptive change in um, cancer care it will be a difficult conversation in some settings. Um, in some countries like the UK um, this conversation has started and things are moving towards that way already. Um, but when we produce level one evidence like we have in the precision trial, this is the first step um, in a line of succession steps to, to be able to do that. Very interesting. Well, thanks very much for telling us all about it. Thank you.